Aussie PC bloke back once again. Uh, a couple of video uh, videos ago I mentioned I was using the EK Red Coolant, Blood Red. And I think I warned you in that video, or maybe I didn't. Anyway, I said I was going to make another video and here it is anyway. So this is the EK Blood Red Coolant. Uh, this one. And I said I was going to make another video because... I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a starting to cloud my tubing, brand new clear tubing after maybe a month and a half. And I must say, everyone warned me, said don't use that stuff, it's bad, it'll clog everything up. And I think, I guess I knew it was going to. But I had to give it a try anyway. I mean, learn from your other, your other people's mistakes maybe, rather than... <laughs> Anyway, so, yeah, you can sometimes see it, it gathers around these bits, where's my finger, you can see it in here, you can hopefully see it on that one, anyway, it's, uh, and I'll show you why, basically, that crap in the bottom, ooh, that crap in the bottom, is what clogs everything up. Now yes, it looks red if you don't shake it up, but you thin that down into quarter, uh, what is it, quarter inch internal diameter hoses, and it'll look really pale and yucky. So that's what the coloring is, that part there. But that's also the problem. So I did say not to use it. Well, I'll say not to use it. You've probably heard other people say why. And I'll probably do an update on the block, I guess, and maybe any other grotty shots I can find of the aforementioned sludge uh, when I pull this apart. That's only maybe over the next few weeks. I've got two weeks off and I need to do something. So I will clean out my blocks and report back as to whether or not this stuff is actually clogging anything up and hindering my cooling.